uh, the West Central Regional Juvenile Center, we're basically, as the name says, it's a regional juvenile center, so we can take kids from Ottertel County, Becker County, Wilkin, Clay County, uh, and others, and um, they come to us for a variety of, of reasons. When, when Corey was explaining kids with mental health and all, uh, low income and things like that, that, that describes us to a T. Uh, we get all these kids in and uh, we do a variety of programs with them. They can be uh, at our place anywhere from 30 days to some of our kids are over a year depending on the program that they are in. Um, we focus a lot on the positives on the kids. Our uh, population hasn't had a lot of positive feedback in their lives. They haven't had the <coughs> structure, the parenting, um, just people to give them a little boost to make them feel good about themselves. Um, Working with Partnership for Health has been just a, a fabulous opportunity for us. We've been able to do a lot of different things with the kids. Um, a lot of our kids come in for long-term programming. Uh, the program that come in talks about, uh, we work on a lot of substance abuse and, and things with those kids. And we, we try to teach them you know, a lot of things that they can use when they leave our facility. Um, part of what we've done is we've revamped our uh, physical education program. We used to go to the gym and we'd throw a basketball out there and, and the kids would shoot hoops all day long. Well, a lot of these kids haven't been exposed to a lot of things. So what we've done with Partnership for Health is we've brought in um, and changed from physical activities to more educational things or um, non-competitive sports. So we do beanbag toss, we do cup stacking, uh, we have Wii's that we use only physical type games that the kids have to stay active with, the bowling, the golf. Uh, we uh, have incorporated that into their treatment plans, so these kids set up goals for themselves. So uh, the walls will see records uh, for these kids, for sit-ups, push-ups, um, all kinds of different activities. So it, it's been wonderful. One of the things that I've always wanted is when we uh, first moved into our building 20 years ago, we had a, one basketball hoop in the middle. Okay, well, when you get 20, 30 kids down there playing, that doesn't work. You know, with, with their help, we've put two basketball hoops on, on each end, and we've been able to take and split kids up based on ability and do different things um, with that. One of the best projects we had is um, we decided our kids don't get out enough. They're usually, they come to our place and they sit. And uh, so what we did is, uh, one of our staff took this on himself. He built these little gardens uh, for the kids. They built them, they maintained them, they planted them, they weeded them, and they harvested uh, the items. And when they harvested them, uh, we took uh, the uh, produce, brought it upstairs, and we made it into bruschetta, taught the kids how to make you know, some healthy snacks, salsa, things like that. So. Um, it, it really has been a great thing. The kids just absolutely love it. Uh, to see their smile from going from a seed to, to holding a tomato is, is really a, a, a great thing. So, thank you. You better read the sign for it. Uh, <laughs> we made our sign and uh, we were trying to figure out what to call it, but we decided to put it, it says, here's where our future grows. West Central Regional Juvenile Center established 2014.